how to create nfts on solana hi guys welcome back to another video and in today's video i'm going to be telling you how you can create nfts on the solana network so without wasting any more of your time let's just jump into it so for those of you who don't know solana operates on solsea now if you're wondering what is solsea well solsea is basically like open seas but a lot better and by better i mean by one aspect you see open seas is one of the biggest platforms that is available online and almost anyone and everyone who is into nfts goes there for you know to buy and mint nfts but because of that same reason it has become so crowded that it is out of control like i'll show you right now so if i go over onto on this website right now as you can see right now the gui i mean the gas fees uh which is also called gui is 119 117 is the average like it's still pretty much like basically it converts to 108 dollars so you have to pay 108 dollars above what you are basically you know trying to mint so for example if you are trying to mint like let's say an nft for like 100 dollars then to actually you know mint it you have to pay 100 dollars more so that it actually gets minted or if you're trying to buy one then of course a lot of people are trying to buy one like think of it like this way uh, there's a project going on and it just released right you're waiting in line and you just pay the dollars to get your nfts but uh, you're like in the last place or second last, right? Then what happens is a couple of guys come up and they pay more, okay? They pay like $100 more than the average price because of the gas wars, the gas trackers, and now they are getting the priority and now you have been kicked off on the from the team and now they are basically taking your place and now they have bought that NFT that you wanted and now you're out and you wasted your time and money and your resources. So because of that reason, it is becoming a all out war. Like it's all out of control. Like right now, currently it's at 112, which is stable. At a certain point in the day, it reaches like 200, 300 guay, which is insane. So for that reason alone, that is why soul sea was created to you know become the next open seas but a lot cheaper over here you don't have to worry about any gas wars you don't have to worry about any extra fees all you have to do is just you know pay a small percentage of fee that you get to choose on the solana network and right now solana is popping it right now it's really going great everything is going smoothly and people are you know interested in soul seas right now and the nft and the quality of nft on the soul sea is absolutely insane it's pretty good so having said that let's get to it so first things first you're going to come over to soulsea.io and you're going to make sure that you already have your own nft then what you can do is you can create your own nft in like three simple steps all you got to do is connect your wallet create your collection and then just simply mint your nft it's pretty simple it's really easy so over here at the top all you got to do is connect your wallet okay simply click on connect your wallet and you have three options in front of you you have phantom you have soul flare and you have solet now phantom is one of the most popular ones and i already have it installed into my chrome chrome browser as an extension so you know when you first come over here when you click on phantom it's going to take you over to their site where you're going to have to sign up and you know install the extension onto your chrome browser but since i've already done that i won't be able to do that so when I click on it, it'll open up this window and all I got to do is enter in my password over here. And that is basically it. So that is basically it. So I'm going to go ahead and enter in my password and that is basically it. Now my wallet is connected and now I can go ahead and start minting NFTs. So over here, what I want you guys to do is just simply come over here. Once you have logged in, once you have signed in with your wallet, just simply come over here and click on create. And over here, you're going to have three options in front of you. Now you're going to have to fill out all of this. Now you don't have to, but if you are trying to upload a video or an animated NFT, then you're going to have to upload all of it. So you're going to have to upload a static preview of your animated NFT, then upload the animated NFT over here, which is called the preview, and then upload the main art file. So since I I'm uploading a small image which is in a video or an anim animated I don't have to upload the animated preview so I'm just simply gonna upload the static preview and the artwork file simply click on this option and just simply choose your NFT so in this case I'm choosing this turtle and then down below just simply click on this image and just choose the image over here the main art file so that is basically it then all you got to do is enter in the title, a short description, a detailed description, but not too long. Um, 
then the secondary royalty fees over here that, that as i mentioned before then an external link what is that it's basically a link where you keep all of your artworks and all of your work online basically a website it can be uh, even a twitter profile or an instagram page or whatever that's something that people can check out can click on and see all the types of work that you have done and then you have tags if you want to add tags you can go ahead and do that just to you know make sure that people find your nft a lot quicker and gets in the right category and then you have licenses now these are important so you have four different licenses okay you, you have private use which is non-commercial and then personal public use and it's also non-commercial then you have public display on commercial again then you have reproductions which is for commercial purposes now for the NFT that I'm using, I think it falls under the public display slash not commercial, which means that people can use it as a profile picture, but can't use it for commercial uses. So I'm going to go ahead and choose that. And then you have tags over here and then you have rate traits over here. So basically what traits are is you must have remembered some of the other popular cryptocurrencies, such as the horses, the crypto punks, the turtles, the mutant apes. Sorry, not the turtles the mutant apes uh they all had like a special edition of those nfts with uh, an eye patch or red hair black background or you know a different colored background a cigarette or any other types of you know accessory that makes it more rare so if you have that type of nft that is rare that has a, you know some special trait to it you can go ahead and add them over here and then you can just simply click on mint nft so i'm gonna go ahead and add all of these descriptions what am i gonna write so i'm gonna write um i'm gonna say kawaii kawaii basically means cute now in this issue i'm just gonna simply write it's a cute turtle just simply wrote that you know it's pretty simple and then in the description uh you can write whatever one you want but i'm just simply gonna copy it over here and just paste it over here just to you know give you an example uh you over here you have to enter in a detailed description about your nft like how did you create it did you get inspiration um you know uh there are types of uh features it has or functionality and stuff like that and once you've done that you can leave it add in the royalties i'm gonna add two over here just add in your external link add tags if you want to select the you know license i think mine falls into this one right public display non-commercial and then you can choose the collection that you have added that you want to add it to that you've created add in the traits and then just simply click on mint nft now before you mint nft you have to have a certain amount of solana in your wallet if you have no solana or any type of you know cryptocurrency within your wallet then you cannot mint your nft so make sure you have it now if i click over here wait a couple of seconds for the transaction to be signed over here all i have to do is just simply click on approve i have to you know make sure that i sign the transaction but as you can see i don't have any balance within my wallet so it's not going to work but if i had one all i had to do was click on approve and then my nft would have been you know successful so since i can't i'm just simply going to cancel it so you know so i don't waste any more of your time but all you gotta do is just simply click on approve and then your nft would have been minted and you can easily sell your nft online and the process is very simple it's very easy don't have to pay any fees whatsoever no gas wars no gas fees no GUI or anything like that it's very very cheap and it's very very good which is why solsi is one of the newest and greatest platforms to sell and mint nfts and it's i highly recommend checking it out so that is it for this video guys that is how you basically create and mint your own nfts on the soul c network and i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did be sure to hit the like button subscribe to our channel and turn on post notifications and having said that i'll catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye